Now our heat indices are back. We're going to be feeling like it's back in the low to mid 90s by tomorrow afternoon before a cold front comes through and that triggers some thunderstorms for tomorrow night. Connor Prairie right now, you can see a nice view out there. Folks beginning to move in. We've got the music of Led Zeppelin being played at the Symphony on the Prairie this evening. 75 degrees at 8 o'clock, 72 at 9, 70 degrees by 10 o'clock tonight with clearing skies. Right now, we've got 82 degrees. We hit 83 for high this afternoon in Indianapolis. And right now around central Indiana, we've got 79 in Kokomo, 77 in Cicero. It's currently 85 degrees out in Cloverdale, 82 degrees coming in from Bloomington as of right now. Temperatures overnight will drop into the upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. So just a little warmer, if not right near where we were this morning. We hit 59 for a low this morning in Columbus. Through the day tomorrow, we'll see temperatures rising pretty quickly, up to 77 degrees by 11 o'clock, 86 by 3. I think we top out right around 89 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Winds will start to turn a little breezy out of the southwest, gusting at times to near 30 miles per hour. And with a heat index in Indianapolis, we should peak out right around 93 degrees. So it's going to start to feel a little more muggy tomorrow afternoon. Things are quiet right now over central Indiana. Just a few high clouds passing through the area. We are watching a cold front that's back to our northwest. This front will come through during the late, uh, I should say, late afternoon, evening hours tomorrow, bringing with it a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Notice as we go through the day tomorrow, just a few clouds around, but as we look to our northwest, West, that's where we'll start to watch this line of thunderstorms begin to develop and then move to the south and east. Here we are by 7 o'clock, and notice the timing on it, meaning we've got a lot of dry hours tomorrow in Indianapolis, Crawfordsville, Muncie, even up towards Kokomo. Then the slide begins to slide off to the south and east, and perhaps by 10 o'clock, the slide begins to move through the Indianapolis metro. Then by later in the evening, we'll see the storms heading down towards Columbus, down towards uh, North Vernon, and down towards Versailles, and those will keep sliding off to the southeast as we go through the overnight hours. And I can't completely rule out a chance for an isolated shower Tuesday morning as well. Best chance for strong storms will be off to our north and west in the areas highlighted in yellow. Main threat would be some strong winds with this storm line as it comes through the area. I think the biggest threat is actually into the northeastern portions of Illinois. So the timing on everything tomorrow, 6 o'clock, line goes right up here to the north. Around 8 o'clock, I think we'll see the leading edge of the rain. And then by 10 o'clock, down towards Columbus and Bloomington. Seven-day forecast shows cooler temperatures coming in behind the cold front. 73 degrees for a high on Tuesday. Even cooler than that by Wednesday, a high of 66 and then notice by Friday morning, we're down to 48 degrees, but a nice rebound in temperatures with a lot of sunshine of highs back in the low to mid 70s heading into next weekend. So start